Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I will tell you about the basic sentence patterns in English. Well, to begin with, I will tell you what a sentence pattern actually means. A sentence pattern refers to the way a sentence is arranged grammatically. In other words, it refers to the word order, the way words are put together to mean something. And when you learn sentence patterns, you will be able to create a variety of sentences. And you will also be able to understand and recognize the different sentence patterns when you read something. And reading becomes very easy because you understand things properly and easily too. And the next thing is learning these sentence patterns helps you gain fluency in the language. So it's always a good idea to learn all about these basic sentence patterns. Let's get started. The first type of sentence is the simplest of all. It is just one word long. Believe it or not, one word long and it can make complete sense. It is a sentence which consists of only one verb. So let's look at some examples of sentences that are just one word long. Come, go, sit, stand, sing, start, wait, eat, read, pray, clap, jump. You can see that all these words just have one word and they have a meaning. These type of sentences are called imperatives because they give instructions to others. They give commands to others. But you cannot make all the sentences in English with just one word. Verb is definitely the most important part of a sentence and there is no sentence which can be made without a verb. So understand that verb is very important part of a sentence. However, if you want to make your sentences longer and more interesting, you must add some details, you must add some information and you must add some words too. So let's look at the next type of sentence structure. The next type of sentence structure is the SV where the S stands for subject and the V stands for the verb. So you can see every sentence has to have a verb. Now how do we make sentences with this pattern? But before that, let me first tell you what a subject means. The subject of a sentence is someone or something that does something. So a subject can be a noun or a pronoun and it stands in the beginning of the sentence. Now V stands for verb. So we can make a sentence a little longer than one word by adding one more element. What is this element? This element is called the subject. So subject plus verb is yet another sentence pattern. Now let's look at some examples. Birds fly. Birds is the subject and fly is the verb and it makes complete sense. Birds fly. Dogs bark. She screamed, he is working, stars twinkle, the baby slept, mother is cooking, we danced, they are working, the sun is shining, it will rain, he has come. Look at all these examples. You see a subject and a verb in each sentence. And you also see that the verbs are in different forms. They can be in the present, past, or future form. So this is the second type of pattern. And now what should you do? You must sit down, take a notebook and start making sentences with this pattern. Make as many sentences as possible which are meaningful. Remember you cannot make some sentences with just two words. So find out. So now let's go to the third pattern. The third sentence pattern is S V O. This is an interesting pattern and a very common sentence pattern. S stands for the subject, 
V stands for the verb and O stands for something called the object. You know what a subject is and you know what a verb is. Now what is an object? An object is being acted upon by the subject. In other words, the object is the receiver or the result of an action done by the subject. Now let's look at some examples with this sentence pattern. He watched a movie. Now he is the subject, watched is the verb. But if you simply say he watched, it doesn't make any sense. So unless you add this element called object, he watched a movie, the sentence doesn't become complete. Let's look at one more. She attends French classes. Now if I say she attends, it doesn't make sense because the verb needs something more. You need to add some more detail. So she attends French classes and French classes is the object of the sentence. Now it makes sense, doesn't it? Hence lay eggs. And if I just say hence lay, you don't understand what it means. When you say hence lay eggs, you understand what this exactly means. So eggs is the object that is being added to hence. Let's look at other examples as well. Cows eat grass. We are learning English. He is reading a book. Mother will make sweets. They have won the match. She washed the clothes. He booked the tickets. Now in all these sentences you see that after the verb there is an object. And without the object you really cannot make a complete sentence. So there are some verbs that need an object. But there are some verbs that don't need the object. But this structure S V O is a sentence pattern where the verb needs an object to complete the meaning. So you have to see the difference between the two structures. You must understand that some verbs can be complete by themselves but some verbs cannot be complete by themselves because they need an object. So we have now done the S V O sentence pattern. Now it's time for you to pick up a notebook and again write down sentences on this pattern. Now the next sentence pattern we are going to learn about is the S V A D J which means S stands for subject, V stands for verb and A D J stands for the adjective. I am sure you all know what an adjective means. An adjective is that which describes the subject. It tells us more about the subject. So, S stands for the subject, V for the verb and ADJ stands for the adjective. Let's look at some examples. Roses are beautiful. So, how are the roses? Beautiful. Here, beautiful is the adjective and R is the verb. Roses is, of course, the subject. The next sentence, the weather is hot. The weather is the subject, is is the verb and hot describes the weather. So, it is the adjective. Now let's look at some more sentences which have got adjectives. The students are regular. The mangoes are sweet. Earth is round. He is young. The story is interesting. This perfume smells nice. This dish tastes good. He looks tired. In all these sentences you can see that the verb is followed by the adjective. Now time to take a notebook and make sentences on this sentence pattern. S, V plus adjective. Now let's go to the next sentence pattern. The next sentence pattern is S, V, A, D, V. What does A, D, V stand for? It stands for the adverb. So the pattern is subject, verb, adverb. Now what is, ad, what is an adverb? An adverb is a word that adds to the verb. So it tells us more about the verb. Now let's look at some examples. He runs fast. If I say he runs, we don't know much about how he runs, where he runs and so on. So when you add this adverb fast, it tells us how he runs, the manner of his action. The manner of his action is an adjective. So adverb here fast tells us how he runs. The old man walks slowly. The old man is the subject, walks is the verb. And how does he walk? Slowly. Slowly is the adverb. She sings well. 
She sings. But how does she sing? She sings well. So well tells us about the verb sings. He went upstairs. Where did he go? He went upstairs. So upstairs is the adverb of place. It tells us where the person went. She writes neatly. How does she write? She writes neatly. So neatly is the adverb that is added to the verb. He woke up early. When did he wake up? He woke up early. Raghu sleeps late. When does Raghu sleep? He sleeps late. So you're adding these adverbs to talk about how, when and where or even how frequently. Mohan has gone abroad. So where has he gone? He's gone abroad. Abroad is an adverb of place. He works hard. How does he work? He works hard. She speaks politely. How does she speak? She speaks politely. So in all these sentences, you see the sentence pattern S-V-A-D-V, -E, which stands for the adverb. Now let's look at the last pattern in today's lesson. The pattern is S-V-N. And what is S? Yes, it is the subject and V is the verb and noun stands for the noun. N stands for the noun. So let's look at some examples of this pattern. We are students. My father is a doctor. My mother is a teacher. They are lawyers. Manoj is a musician. It's a butterfly. My friend is a pilot. She's a nurse. It's a flower. You're a boy. Now look at all these sentences. You see that the pattern is the subject first, then the verb, and then the noun. S-V-N is what the sentence pattern is called. So I hope you have understood all about the sentence patterns. The verb with the se in the sentence which can exist all alone or in combination with the subject and other words. So verb is the most, uh, I would say the most common or maybe the simplest of all sentences where we use it to make imperative sentences, just one word long. The second, S plus V, subject plus verb. And the next one is subject plus verb plus object. And the next one is subject plus verb plus adjective. And subject plus verb plus adverb. And the last one we learned about is the subject plus verb plus noun pattern. Now I'm going to do a small practice exercise with all of you. I'm sure you will participate and you will try to think about each of these sentences. Identify the sentence pattern. I like sweets. Now look at the sentence. Analyze the sentence. I, I is the subject. Like is the verb. Sweets is the object. I like sweets. So this is S-V-O. Dogs bark. There are just two words. So it is the SV pattern. She sings sweetly. Sweetly, is, sweetly tells us how she sings. So it's the SVADV or adverb. The grapes are sour. How do the grapes taste? They taste sour. So sour is an adjective. This sentence pattern is subject plus verb plus adjective. The boys play cricket. Boys is the subject, play is the verb and cricket is the object. They are farmers, they is the subject, so S, R is the verb, farmers is the noun, so S, V, N. He speaks loudly, so here he is the subject, speaks is the verb and loudly is the adverb. Next one, he drives carefully, he is the subject, drives is the verb, carefully is the adverb because it tells us how he drives. Jump, jump is just one word long, it's a complete sentence and here we just have the verb. The last one is Renu is pretty, pretty is an adjective because it tells us about the subject Renu. So it is subject plus verb plus adjective. I'm sure you've understood about some of the 
basic sentence patterns that you can make and I'm sure you will try and make many more sentences. You'll create many more sentences of these patterns and you will practice more so that you can improve your fluency in English. I'll come back with many more interesting videos. So do like, share and subscribe to our videos so that you can watch more. And I'm, thank you for watching these videos. See you soon. Goodbye.